The serving overseer of the Citizen Global Community Church, Pastor Tunde Bakari, has asked federal government not to pay lip service to the myriads of insecurity confronting the nation. The clergyman made this call on Sunday during the State of the Nation broadcast at his church. According to him, if something urgent is not done, the current administration may be on the right side of history. The conspicuous handwriting on the wall. The State of the Nation has spurred outcries from stakeholders across the country. We have heard from the Emma of Daura, Alaji Farouk, Uma Farouk, who lamented that what Nigeria is experiencing now is worse than civil war. We have heard from the Sultan of Sokoto, Alaji Muhammad Hussain Abu Bakr III, CFR, who declared that the North is, in his words, the worst place to be in this country because bandits go around in the villages, households, and markets with their AK-47 and nobody's challenging them. We have also heard from the owner of Ife, Obadeye Eni Togusi, who is speaking on behalf of other Yoruba traditional rulers, including the Alafi of Oyo, Obalamidi Adeyemi, and the Awujale Obasikiru Kade Adetono, cried out to the president over the state of insecurity in the Southwest. The lamentations of the royal fathers have been echoed by social cultural groups across the country, including Ohaneze Indigo, the Arewa Consultative Forum, and Afeniferi. The Northern Elders Forum has gone as far as calling for the resignation of the president. Even governors and lawmakers have joined the lamentations. From one declaration to another, and from one resolution to another, the consensus among the stakeholders is that Nigeria is in a state of emergency. Consequently, if urgent decisive action is not taken, insecurity may be the second time curse of the current administration. This is a conspicuous handwriting on the wall. Reiterating his stand and restructuring, Pastor Bakari argues that there is no better long-term solution to various challenges than the devolution of the current arrangement. Restructuring does not mean the, dismem the dismemberment of the Nigerian state. The structuring, restructuring is not an attack on Nigerian unity. The restructuring does not mean disadvantaging any section of the country. It means empowering the Northwest, the North Central, the North East, the Southwest, the South South, and the South East, so that every part of our country will be safe and prosperous. Show me one person who does not want this for our country, and I will show you an enemy of Nigeria. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.